Cooler Solar is a renewable energy company and like our name says, we are focused on solar energy. And we believe at Cool Earth that everybody should have access to clean, safe, renewable, sustainable energy. Through the partnership with Cool Earth, Sandia hopes to achieve two major outcomes. The first is technical. We would like to help Cool Earth demonstrate and validate a new and exciting technology that we hope can meet the dollar a watt DOE challenge. We're very excited about the partnership with Sandia. It's a great opportunity for us to showcase our unique uh, disruptive solar technology. It's a great opportunity to get access and partner with the solar experts and scientists and engineers at the lab. In parallel with that, the Cool Earth Crater is a chance for us to exercise the open campus as a new way of doing business at the National Laboratories. When I was in the House chamber last week, President Obama issued a number of challenges to the Congress and to the country about energy efficiency, uh, to reduce our energy footprint over the next five years, to make our businesses and homes more energy efficient, and also to really work and strive for more public-private partnerships. And I thought, well, here in Livermore, we're already doing that. We're already leading the way. What we've done better in California than any other place in the country is bring together public private resources, investors, industry people, people at the local government level, the state level, and then the amazing capacity of Sandia and Lawrence Livermore National Lab through the collaboration through the Livermore Valley Open Campus. All of those ingredients have been brought together in a way here that demonstrate the power of innovation in a collaborative atmosphere. And so what's happening here is just something that truly is special. This will be the first time that Cooler Solar's technology has been deployed, put out in a field for the public to see. The reason their technology is so interesting is that it takes a concept that people knew produced solar energy in a good way, which is concentrated solar, so focusing sunlight onto a PV solar cell. That produces more electricity. So instead of using a lot of steel or metal or aluminum, glass, a lot of solar cell material. We use very light, very cheap, very thin <laughs> plastic. And this thin film plastic is really the core to our uh, intellectual property, the core of our technology, and it allows us to use much less materials. And at the end of the day, what solar needs to do is to become cheaper and more affordable. So what's going to happen at the Sandia site? It'll be the first time ever the cooler solar technology is deployed out in the field for the world to see. It's been great to work with a young, energized company that really sees their mission as saving the planet. And that's a great group of people to work with and the sort of people that a national lab can really get inspiration from.